Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a set of TA1 military handsets and these are Bill's equipment from Texas and he wants to take these telephones and turn them into home use telephones so he wants to be able to use them in his home and so what we're going to do is we're going to be converting these telephones and this is the initial checkout of these two handsets he actually has four but we're going to do two of them and what they have here is a mechanical ringer and you can turn that up and down so we're going to be working in that circuit because we have to make it do what we want it to do and and act the way we want it to act when it comes to home use. So we'll be working on that circuit. We also are going to be installing a line modular port adapter. So we will remove this adapter and we will be installing an adapter that Bill can simply plug into any jack and go ahead and uh, activate this telephone when we're finished. We have to remove the original transmitter. It's the wrong impedance and we can't use it. We're going to have to go in and take out some of the insides of this telephone so we have room for a PC board for our network for our telephone. So we're going to be installing a mic, a receiver, and a network board for the mic and receiver. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are in the middle of the process of designing out the situation that we're going to have for this handset with a PC board, our mic, our receiver, our switches and indicators. And so there's a lot to the design of building the handset as a working telephone and so what we want to do here is we're at the point we want to do some checks before we start installing everything and putting it all back together again and then we're going to start on the second handset so what we want to do is we've created uh, we're always looking for new ways to uh, convert these telephones and better ideas and so what we have here is since we have the handset cord or the line cord coming out at this end of the telephone where your electronic knocking uh, ringer is, we also put a visual indicator light and a switch to turn on and off the unit. So now what we want to do is do some testing before we put everything together. And so we'll go ahead and ring the telephone. And you can see our visual indicator. And that still needs to be mounted into the base. We just have it sitting there. I want to turn the telephone on. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair and conversion of these two TA1 handsets. And so we're going to run through a little bit about uh, what's going on with them. We went ahead and installed a modular port adapter so it can be plugged into any jack or any adapter to make the cord longer. We also went ahead and installed the switch to turn these telephones on at the bottom of the unit because your cord is coming out at the bottom for your line cord anyway and these telephones were really not made to stand up in this position. They were made to lay down or actually hang on a belt upside down. So we're always looking for new ways, uh, for new designs on these telephones. And so we've come up with a switch at the bottom on these two units. We've also included a visual LED light for the ring cycle. Not only will you hear your mechanical ringer, you'll see a light 
that is a visual effect for the ring cycle. Now these telephones will pull some ren out of the line on a ring cycle because of the mechanical ringer that they have in them and that's just typical to the style of ringer. So as long as your ring cycle voltage is up and it's in good shape, these telephones should always have their mechanical ringer as long as the ring cycle voltage is sufficient. We've also included an off-hook green LED light for a visual indicator that the telephone is on and if you're ever on the telephone and you set it down and forget to turn the telephone off here by this manual switch you'll always see that green indicator light and that way you'll know to turn it off. So we're ready to do our final checks now and we're going to go ahead we have this first one here hooked up and we want to ring it with our analyzer and as you can see the visual LED light I'll let it go one more time and we'll answer the telephone We can see our visual indicator for off hook. I'm going to give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is I have a switch box here and I'm going to go ahead and push it. We'll turn the telephone off. We'll reactivate it. I'm going to take a tone dialer and we'll call a time and temp number. Good afternoon. Offenberg Ford, still big in Belleville for nearly 70 plus years. Call 234-0330. Today is Tuesday, January 28th. The time is 104. Current temperature 25 degrees. Very cold today, mostly sunny skies, highs around 17, mostly clear this evening, lows around 9. Sunny on Wednesday, highs in the lower 30s. Okay. One other thing we want to do is we want to put the switch box back over to the analyzer. We'll give you some dial tone. I want to cause dial tone to go away. And now the dial tone's gone away. It's like we dialed a 1. And I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know that this handset here is finished up and in working condition. Now what we want to do is we want to set that handset to the side and we'll plug this handset in. We'll go ahead and ring this unit. There's our visual. I'll let it go one more time. Turn the unit on, give you some dial tone. We're going to cause dial tone to go away so we can transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like on the other unit, if you watch that red light on the analyzer, that light is an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that these two units are ringing in on a ring cycle. Our indicator light, our visual for our ring cycle is working. Our transmit, receive, and our off hook indicator light. What we want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and push the switch box on this unit and we're going to do 
the time and temp again. So we'll go ahead and turn the unit on, give you some dial tone.